Welcome to Rimworld. Yesterday, everybody spent all day fighting tornadoes and insects, so today, I'm going to give them a bit of a day off to start off with here, I think. Just give them a little bit of time to hang around and kind of, kind of eat meals and, you know, do things that remote characters do when they're not fighting tornadoes and insects. We did kill the insect queen yesterday. On the subject of that, somebody said that apparently we can butcher the insect queen and all of the insects without having to, without having to worry about immortals? Or is that just a... Uh, oh, it's a flash storm. Right, got it. Um, without having to worry about the genetic material. That's apparently something you want to buy from traders. So that's, that's good news there. So we don't have to worry about micromanagement. I'm a little bit annoyed because one of these tornadoes, as I was setting up, broke through a window and came into the base. So it turns out that the... Although, although the walls reflect the tornadoes, if they had a low enough hit point, say a wall was damaged enough to only having 15 hit points left, the tornado can just obviously bash straight through. So you have to be careful with that. Oh, it's destroying all the windows. At the end of the day, it is a tornado. You kind of expect it to, huh? Obviously, this is going to get more violent as we go through here. We are only two days into the 15-day tornado season. So we'll just focus on letting them tidy up, maybe do a little bit of research now. I want to just make sure everything is locked down with regards to the insects. There's still a lot of insects kicking around, like ones that have just been born. We've got like a zero-day-year-old locust there. We've got zero-day-year-old mega scarabs. Um, obviously, another giga locust there that we need to take out. I want to tidy that up. I want to make sure that the infested ships themselves are destroyed just in case they spawn in insects. I believe it's only the queen that can do that but we might as well give it a go and i have seen another i would argue about another 50 comments from people asking me to turn this into some sort of prison we will do that when we have a larger base where when we have a larger base that makes that a bit more necessary and viable like we don't even have a dedicated prison right now when we have that on the external walls of the prison, it'd be great if we could put some abominations there. Maybe find a way to... We could forbid doors, which are the lowest route. Because bear in mind, prisoners, when they break out of prison, don't care about forbidden doors. So they could bash down the doors into the abominations, which could be a much lower route than running through, say, a big maze or something. That's actually not a bad idea. We'll talk about that later, when obviously we have more call for a prison. Right now, it's just a case of surviving. Are they genuinely threading the needle and coming through? Oh, they actually did just straight up destroy a wall there. Oh, fuck. Give a shout out as well to Buttersky over on Discord, who basically sent me a link to a a patch for the ammunition mod that we've got going on right now. Are the insects coming back? Um, Fleeing. I don't know what these things are. It says a genetically engineered hunter drone, and all it's done is run away. <laughs> Very weird. Um, let's get the insect queen hauled. I don't know if it'll drop anything special, but we might as well give it a go. Um, we've got animal corpses. And then insect corpses. And honestly, why not? Why not just get them all butchered? We could feed its prisoners. We could run it through a nutrient paste dispenser, something like that, you know. Um, what was I talking about? Right, yeah. So the, the, the ammo patch for the attrition mod basically lowers the weight down pretty significantly. Like I talked about yesterday, with the way it was before, we weren't able to use simple sidearms and the vanilla expanded tools along with attrition. We didn't have enough inventory space for it all. So this way, even though it's a lot more micromanaging, because we will have to manage the tools and the ammo and everything else, uh, it, it will give us, I think, probably the best experience that we could have with all these mods enabled. Otherwise, you basically have to choose, do we want ammo, do we want tools, and that's a pretty obvious... <laughs> I think that's a pretty obvious choice. Rosa Boyd, walking away. Oh, it's a friend, though. Um, just came back. Just, just, uh... Bear in mind, these factions obviously turned up and fought the insects and died. This one just resurrected. Um, they are a level 2 immortal as well, so if we were to kill them, that'd be a lot of immortality. But I don't want to sacrifice some Aroni allies for immortality. Or do I? Uh... I mean, it could be the case of restoring Sharamus to health. If we can catch her, we will kill her. There's no chance. Okay, never, never mind. If we get an opportunity like that in the future, though, where it's a case of Sharamus might literally be able to regrow his limbs... I might take that. I genuinely might take that. Let's send some backup for Uber Daddy here, and we'll go and deal with these insects before we focus on much else today. You forget about that one. How do I... No, no interaction when drafted, right? Go ahead and forget about that. There we are. That's better. Right, you come down here. Go and help Rubber Daddy. Tidy up a couple of these spiders. Smash the other ship chunks, like I said, just in case. I don't think they do spawn in insects, but it's worth just being careful. Worst case scenario, we get some free plastic, which I'm certainly not going to complain about. The other thing we want to save up for and ideally build today, I'd like to get this done, is the... um. Research bench, uh, and, and of course, multi analyzer too. At some point, if we get that done by today, that would be pretty fantastic too. So that's our that's our unofficial goal. Still not sure what these giga locusts actually are doing when all they do is just kind of run away. It's very weird that the queen and the giga locusts didn't actually fight back ever. They just kind of ran off a lot of the time. Um, fingers, where are you? Just taking a while to get down here. Right, let's get these guys squatted up. Kill that spider. All the insects are running away now. Oh, cow join? Is that a person called cow or is that? That is a group of cow. <laughs> if only there was a name for that. Um, there's nothing there. That's, that's a bush. Oh, there we are. Two cows. If they can get back to base, fine. We, I suppose we can lock them in home base. 
That's okay, I think. Those ones drop 16 components and another 50 steel. I mean, the steel isn't super relevant anyway, but we've got Sharamus's Magic Mountain of Steel, but the components are absolutely fantastic. So if we can focus on... Oh, hello. Collis Wilson getting the trait Nimble. That's very good for a character that is incapable of violent. You know, if he has to get away in a hurry, obviously he can't fly back. So that's a, a pretty helpful defensive trait, if nothing else. Let's go and get these advanced components hoovered up there as well. We've got one Mega Spider. I think that's about all that's left to worry about. Um, obviously, we've got a couple of other spiders. Oh, and of course, this one too. Take that one down. There's a chance that one might drop some advanced components. I'm going to get Robot Energy to come. Can we deconstruct it? No, we can't. Okay, get in there and we'll just melee attack that one and haul it back. And we've got ourselves some more advanced components. Very nice. Fantastic. And obviously, the steel too is kind of nice. Particularly because I don't want to open a massive friggin' hole for the tornadoes right now. How are we looking in regards to the tornado watch? There's only one on the map. I suppose I should call them sandstorms, really, shouldn't I? Um, sandstorm is coming. I feel like I feel like that ship has sailed, my friend. Robert Danny has been re-elected, taking the election from fingers there. Incredible. So what have we got in terms of building blocks? Fucking not a lot. Our most abundant resource is uranium, of all things. Um, I guess we could build things out of limestone, like a small lab out of limestone. So somebody pointed out that the, the best solution to our lack of stone right now is, is deep drills, and I fully agree. Uh, bear in mind, deep drills can just churn out depending on what you put them on top of, just chunk after chunk after chunk. So I think that might be how we go about this. Um, let's use the... So what have we got there? 278. We might have to mix and match blocks here, which is going to look horrible, but what choice do we have? Um, let's go... Structure. That's what... I've played this game before. Sorry, bear with me here. Um, we want some limestone, I think it was. And then however big we can make that building, preferably. Do something like... 250. Wow, that's quite large. Uh, you can make it a lot bigger than I realized. Um, let's do it like that. 270. What do you think? Gives a little bit of breathing room there between the structure. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stick to adding the gaps, like I said before. Let's give it decently away from the external wall as well. Let's just give our guys a little bit of breathing room in terms of using it as an embrasure. 270. That will be our research lab then. Gives us room for a couple of research benches as well. Bear in mind that a couple of our people were good at research. Um, we'll have a kind of centralized entrance up here. Hang on. It came through an open door. Wait, really? Or maybe it came through the... Oh, man. There's me building this big steel external perimeter. Because I was like, okay, that'll make us tornado-proof. The tornado is just blasting through the walls. It would have been better not to have anything at all. Because the tornado is still getting in. And we're wasting steel trying to hold them out. Shit. Um... I mean, it's if we might want to up the repair priority for some people here. Who have we got that's good at repairing? I, I might have to increase this up to, like, three. Maybe even two. But we can't do any growing right now because of the tornadoes. That's probably not a bad idea. Drugs? Why have I put priority in drugs? I wouldn't have done that. Train combat one? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happened to our jobs here? Something's... Yeah, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck's happened? <laughs> um, all our jobs are messed up and it's taken me a second to notice that. Uh, yeah, this isn't right. Oh, fuck. What the hell's happened? Train is high. Com train combat is high. We got everybody set to govern? I definitely didn't do that. Okay, let me let me just go ahead and fix things here. Might be where I installed the ammunition mod. It might have had some weird side effects on mod order or whatever else. Shouldn't take too long to tidy up. Ah, yeah, you're right. I'll be honest, bringing all of the insects into the base might have been a poor idea because now we've got immortal... We've got immortal insects coming back to life. Well, let's get Tome working on... Actually, who was our butcher? It's uh you, right? Let's get you on this. Now, I know I said this after last season, but then we lost a bunch of people again. So after this is done, and we know exactly what we're up against in this mod pack, I'm going to start naming our colonists and any new people that turn up. So I'll start collecting names for a nameless after the season is over, and then we'll start renaming some of the people here. What? Oh, you got a quickening from that? Or what the hell was that? I'm not entirely sure. You're not an immortal, so I feel like almost having you on Butcher is a waste of time, is it not? What do you think? I think we'll get rid of you and we'll put, like, fingers on it instead. Yeah, I prefer that plan. Otherwise, we're just losing any potential immortality that could have happened. Uh, so much for it not getting through walls. What the fuck? What the hell is going on there? <laughs> Can't get through walls. It did. It just went through a fucking wall. Um, that's... It just went through a wall again. Look, it just traveled right through the base there. That's fucked up. Um, a definitely a concern for the future, I think. And who are you? Trader? Uh, I'm not I'm not touching that. If they die and they come back as immortal, then we can butcher them. But for the time, it's probably a bit, bit of a 
Bit of a waste of time just trying to rescue them. This spellipede here is immortal. So in theory, just to double check that the butcher is affected by immortals. Yes, it does work. Okay. So we got a higher level of immortality from butchering that creature. That makes a lot of sense. I like that. Oh my god, Robo Daddy's weapon just deteriorated down to nothing there as well. To be honest, I think the first research we're really going to go for here is... Gunsmithing? Anything that will give us uh, the ability to craft assault rifles basically on demand. I have noticed that Attrition Mod does add a weapon cleaning mechanic. We might have seen them, you might have seen them do them occasionally. We have seen them a couple of times in videos do that. There is something called a maintenance kit, which requires five cloth, five steel, and five grease. God knows how you make grease. Um, it genuinely might be less hassle to just craft new weapons on demand. I might do that instead. Anyway, let's take a look at weapon crafting first and foremost, and then we'll see how we go on from there. Right, so we want to put down a high-tech research bench. At least we'll ram them into the corner down here somewhere. Let's put a little bit of room around it so that we can expand around, I guess. Um, if I put it like that, I think is probably the right idea. Okay, fine. That way we can get a couple of research benches in here for the other characters who are also good at researching. In fact, I might put one down straight away, assuming we've got enough... Let's get one kind of settled in and then we'll also get the filing cabinet down as well then we'll start with the research then we'll start building the second bench i think that's probably the best way to go about things here let's reinstall that there and we'll go ahead and get rid of these actually we can reinstall that one incredible we have so much room for research right here we go uh first things first multi allies i was gonna say multi allies but we haven't got any gold at all if i'm not mistaken we really really don't uh what if we take apart some mechanoids we might get lucky Shit. I mean, we need orbital traders, don't we? Let's be reasonable. Uh, let's go Let's go do that next. I think that's fairly important. Something I've basically been ignoring the entire game so far. I'll put down a trade beacon in here too. Ooh, can we cover everything? We cannot. All that shit down there is tainted though, so I guess it doesn't really make much difference, huh? Let's go ahead and put that down. Uh, hopefully we can trade just a, everything. I will sell everything in exchange for gold at this point. Even if we have to get rid of one or two, or maybe one, of the advanced components. Uh, speaking of which, did they get the other advanced component? We've got some steel out there being ripped apart by a tornado. Uh, that one's been pulled apart. Yeah, we're good. Okay, things are fine. Gas operation. That's what we want. I think that's what we want, right? Uh, that gives us... Heavy SMGs? I mean, I can I can fight with that. LMGs as well seem like a pretty good idea. What do we need for assault rifles? Uh, assault... Oh, precision rifling. Oh, my bad. Um... Got precision rifling. Look at this. We've got specialized firearms. Quick draw. Marksman rifles. She seems like it might be better to... To... I mean, put a little bit of variation on what we're using, right? Let's go for precision rifling. Just so we can get assault rifles down as well. We give some people shotguns. Some people... SMGs, LMGs. Actually, I'm not sure. Because bear in mind, we are using Yeo's combat as well. And armor penetration is massive. Uh, I don't know where to begin. It's going to take a lot of experimentation. Unfortunately, we don't really have time for doing that when the world itself is trying to kill us. Um, for demanding combat scenarios, I don't know which is which is better. Battle rifle te generally tends to be quite good. Well, let's hey, let's start with let's start with gas operation because that allows us to build reusable weapons. We can get some LMGs. Just give everyone an LMG. That's an all-round okay gun. After that point, before I get too heavy and going into all ver various different types of weaponry, we'll make sure we have some gold. Because if we don't have gold, we'll make sure we have multi analyzers and some gold so that then we can do the research obviously way more effectively. Otherwise, we're potentially looking at wasting a shitload of time. Right. So we've got Radic and the Stew Keep on research. I'm alright with that. And we've got a spare research table as well, just in case none of them have a job to do. I mean, ideally getting another high-tech steel research bench down here, but I think all three of them not having a job, especially as one of them's our cook, is very unlikely. Well, now what the hell do we do then, huh? Um... Oh, good. Yeah, that's fine. Where's it landing? Oh, it's landing right on the base again, isn't it? Uh, the epicenter is roughly... Roughly right over the, the the dining room, is that? Yep, that seems to be about right. Okay, here we go. Let's make sure everybody's indoors. For what little it might help. We want to make sure they are as central as possible. So being like here, or actually in this bedroom would help. Because that bedroom has multiple walls on either side of it. Whoa! Okay. Come on, haul ass, haul ass, haul ass. Go oh, fuck! Get in there, get in. Uh, rescuer. Let's turn that into a medical bed. Bring, bring her over as you walk through. Putting out three hours. She'll, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Get in. Come on, Radic. Shit. Was the cow immortal then? What happened? Someone quickened. I don't know what the hell quickened from that. <laughs> hell on earth. Absolute chaos. Okay, okay. That's it. Get her down. Get her down. Get her down. Uh, Tone's also been hit. Better mind, Tone was only stood in here. Um, 
Are you immortal? You're not immortal, so you need some desperate tending then. Uh, reserved by Radic. Radic's already on it. Legendary Radic. Tend, tend well, Radic. Tend well. Good. Oh, zero percent, Radic, you fucking fool. Uh, self tend to say what? You know what? You tend to yourself. That's probably not a bad idea. He's immortal, right? He can just tend to himself. You tend to tend to her. Look at the impact. You can actually see the impact from that uh, from that meteorite. You were immortal, correct? Yeah, that's why I specifically didn't bother doing anything with you there. It looks like she'll be fine. She's good. Wow. Um, that was not ideal. Fucking hell. And uh, now we've got immortal, uh, we've got meteorites, and we've got tornadoes to deal with. My favorite. Right, go on. <laughs> Rebuild the base. Hide inside, everybody said. Oh, no. Need uh, like a tornado bunker, don't we? Don't get me wrong. Hiding inside quite clearly works. It's just the walls that we're using right now, especially the wooden walls, definitely can't handle that. That's not ideal at all. Um, did that reinstall, or did I just build a copy? Then That's my bad. Um, shit, I mean, this is, <laughs> this is fucking horrible. Oh, you son of a bitch. Radic, Radic was immortal as well, don't panic. Uh, over the past couple of days, they've quite literally just been repairing. Uh, obviously, that was a waste of time. Meteorite certainly changed that one. I can't believe that. The new research lab trashed within two days. Fuck. And we're only eight more days of this absolute chaos. Then we've got a little bit of breathing room. There's three tornadoes out there. And a siege. Just to, just to be clear, in the space of about 12 remote hours there, we had a meteorite storm. We had we had a psychic drone. Three of our people were killed by the meteors, and now we've got a siege as well. Where is the siege? Hopefully they get swept away. Where are they? Um, they're over there. Tornadoes, I need you here, my friend. Turn around. There. Turn around. Yes. Kill. Yes. Oh, my God. No. Oh, you bitch. South. South. Souther. Please, Souther. I can't do anything. Stop. Yes. Okay, not, not south or enough. Fuck, you son of a bitch. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> They've got incendiary shells as well, because of course they do. Um, we have a mortar of our own. I don't believe we have any shells anywhere, though, do we? We've got one shell. It's a fire foam shell. This is the most cursed thing I've ever... Robo Daddy doesn't have a gun. Uh, give him the combat handgun. That's quite literally the best we've got. Uh, get him to fetch some ammo. Fetch some more ammo. Uh, right, fingers, you're armed. Radic, do you have any gear we could steal? Yes, get that carbine. Go, take it. Um, Sharamus can't hold a gun. And neither can Wilson. <laughs> Robo Daddy, get that carbine. Fuck, this is horrible. This is horrible. There we go, okay, okay. It's down to Robo Daddy and fingers to deal with the entire raid, by the way. Do any of you guys have any armor Robo Daddy can borrow? Give me that riot armor. Oh, is, is it going to count as tainted? Oh, it fucking better not. That would suck. Yep, worn by a corpse. Well, whatever. Okay. He's equipped. He's ready to go. Riot armor, power armor helmet. If we take Radix power armor helmet too, they all count as tainted, I assume, unless they resurrect as them. To be honest, I think this is still a better idea. Right, get that shit stripped. Get that worn. Right, so we've got two boys armoured with power armor helmets, bearing in mind their heads are the, the, their weak point here. Um, which I think is true of every human being. Now I've said that out loud, it sounds absurd. Uh, but with these guys, it's more true than ever. We've just got to get out there to maybe... I wonder if we could bait them into a tornado. Never mind. Remember what I said? We've only got Robo Daddy and Fingers to fight these guys off. Uh, only, only Robo Daddy was what I actually meant to say. You see, I misspoke. Fucking sons of bitches. Run and gun. Run and gun. We've got something they don't have, and that's maneuverability. Ow, his legs. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> well. This has been a fun experience. Oh god, I hope the tornadoes don't do... Shit. I saw it in the colony. Tornado. So, kidnap who they can and leave. We're going to lose Robo Daddy. Get out there. They, they've actually got him. Okay, go, run, 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 run. Haul. Haul us, haul us, haul us. Haul us. He's gone. I mean, I, I I, think that's a strong argument. The losing Robo Daddy saved the colony. Because if they didn't kidnap someone, they would have just burnt the whole base down and, and potentially kidnapped more people. Was that a trade I wanted to make? Absolutely not. But it's a trade that we had to make. I, th I think, weirdly enough, that was the right thing to do.
I think that was the right thing to do. There's always a chance that he'll send us. An opportunity to rescue him may present itself in the coming days. Just, we've got to keep an eye on the quest. And the second the quest to get Robo Daddy back appears, we, we do it. We just have to do it. The tornado is getting a bit of revenge for us, though. I appreciate that. Are any of you guys immortal? Asking for a friend. Uh, fuck, I can't believe that. Robo Daddy is a pretty, a pretty big loss. Um, you've got a transhumanist cold lover diplomat capable. Oh, I was looking for an intellectual replacer for Robo Daddy. Um, we've got this guy who's very skilled and capable of intellectual. You're not bad. You're not really what I want, though. Fucking hell. BP. <laughs> this is pure chaos. This is absolutely pure chaos. Um, if we could capture Packy, Patrick Packy Christian, he might make for a good replacement. So let's go ahead and make that medical. This is... Oh, come on. Oh, it needs to be prisoner in, in, a, in an enclosed... We don't have any enclosed rooms, I'd like to point out. We don't have a single enclosed room. <laughs> what a fucking joke. You know where we could put him, genuinely? We could put him in here. I think that would that would work. Brilliant. Okay, go and, go and capture him. What a mess. Oh my god, Sharamus just buried Raddock. <laughs> I don't think that will affect... Oh, I was going to say drop him on the floor and tend to him, but of course we can't. Um, I don't think that will affect him resurrecting. I certainly hope it doesn't. But did you just dig him up and b fucking stop? Forbidden. God, I hope that doesn't stop him resurrecting. The answer is no, it didn't. Okay, thank God for that. Wow, this is horrible. What a, what a horrible day. I, I will admit those four back-to-back -back events were brutal. I mean, that was that was just sadistic on, on the part of the, the storyteller there. I'm trying to frantically patch up the external walls as much as possible so this can actually count as indoors, but we haven't got any wood. We are down to the last of our building blocks here. Um, we could risk going out and getting some more wood, I guess, but I'm just worried that it's going to get our people killed. We don't even have an external wall anymore, so if a raid turns up and they don't get immediately smashed by the tornadoes, we are so fucked because we only have four people now capable of combat and one gun to go around. <laughs> Mad. This is madness. Let's get this. Let's just get as much wood harvested as we can as soon as. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You know what I feel like? Another siege. Uh, really feel like trading Robo Daddy was worth it now, huh? Oh, these fucking sandstorms. Yes. Yes. Kill them. No. What am I supposed to do now? What the fuck do I do now? Like, genuinely, how do we deal with this? Um, well, you're crap. Uh, you have no weapon. <laughs> Get the meat cleaver, boys. <laughs> um, fingers, hold the line. Tone, hold the line. Sharamus, hold the damn line. Wilson, help me. Oh, wow. What have they got? Oh, shit. They've got, like, revolvers and hand cannons and stuff, and we're mostly unarmored here. Get in there. Slay them. Don't be a coward. Fight to the last man. Fight to the last man. I, I hate to say it. I genuinely think this is game over, and I think that's fairly obvious. So let's kidnap who they can and leave. If you can hide for long enough... Wow. Um, so who have they picked up? Tone is out there. Get Tone. Get Tone, get Tone, get Tone. Come on, come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Tone is dead. Okay, well, that's good, because it means he'll resurrect. Wilson. Wilson is down as well. Oh, fuck. <laughs> ah. um, oh, shit, no, no, no. My stew cook. Fucking hell. Rescue Tone, then. Tone is an immortal, so it's not such a big deal. Uh, rescue Wilson, I guess. Wilson is not immortal, so... They take top priority. Not that we have a doctor, of course. Well, so it's dead. Second we got him to the bed, he was gone. I mean, we could have tended him. I will admit, we could have tended him out here. But when there are two tornadoes whipping around, no. Uh, I think that was a bad idea. Oh, he's immortal. Okay, not a problem. Wilson, though. Well, yeah, Wilson's gone forever. Well, shitty fuck. Uh, I just don't know what to say. This storyteller is so aggressive. And to recap here, we are playing on... Playing on Strive to Survive. What is that, tough normally? I mean, shit, this is madness.
<laughs> We're done. That's it. That's game over. What the fuck? I mean, that's game over. There's no question here. I was genuinely expecting a couple of those pods to be empty. Might be a couple of scythers. That's fine. That's not win. That's unwinnable. Even if we had Robo Daddy and everybody was alive with weapons, we'd have lost here. Wow. I mean, it's just... This is relentless. Um... What do I do? The question is, what do I do? We could reload. Uh, I could scrap this whole episode, reload, and pretend that nothing happened. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have time for that. Um, we could... This is going to sound strange. We could start a new colony because I genuinely think it would be less... I think it would be better to just do a soft reboot. Like, genuinely start a new colony and accept that this one was a failure. A failure to plan is murder murdering by mechanoids, as the old expression goes. Wow, I just don't, e I just don't even know how anyone can win this one. And especially, what's blowing me away the most is this is on, like, the, the, the fourth highest difficulty. And it's just still... I just don't know what I've done wrong. Because this makes me feel like I fucked up the entire save. If at this point of the game, they're sending uh, seven centipedes at us. Like, what was I supposed to do as a player that I've clearly not managed to do to be able to counter that? I just don't know. And that's why I feel like a soft reboot would make would, would be better. Like, like, restart a fresh save and just accept that this is fucking dead. Maybe hell continues for Sharamus, Fingers, and Robo Daddy. Oh my god, they've lit the base on fire to really add insult to injury. Fuck. I want to hear what you guys think. I want to hear what you guys think. Uh, and whatever, let's, let's make this as fair as possible. Because no matter what I decide, obviously people are going to dislike it. I think let's make this as fair as possible. Let's come to an agreement that whatever is, I don't know, the top comment of this episode, whatever's most upvoted, is the solution we go, we'll go for. And then, I can't get the blame. You can just blame the majority, at which point... At <laughs> which point they're in the right, you know? Uh, we'll go pure democracy with this. How do we want to do it? Should we reload and say, you know, we, we, we this this is our, this is a write-off. Just be a bit more prepared. Don't let Robo Daddy get kidnapped. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to prevent something like that. Maybe even lower the difficulty, perhaps, to account for the fact that we do have much more difficult combat mechanics and obviously the, the weather effects. Do we want to scrap it entirely and start a fresh colony with everything we've learned now? You know, going for insulation. Maybe even starting with the basic insulation research. Getting a base prepared, getting through that Ice Age and the Fire Age again, and treat it as a challenge. Treat it more as like a roguelike challenge where you, we've learned all of those things. So let's go for a second attempt at this time. We'll do it better. I'm going to leave it in your hands. and I'm going to let you guys decide which one you would prefer. Because at the end of the day, entertainment comes first. And I want this to be as fun as possible. So I think both of those ideas are, are acceptable. To be honest, I think the second idea might be the most fun. But it's in your hands. I mean, this is hard. This is this is this might be the hardest series of remote we've we've ever done, <laughs> and this is on like the, again the fourth highest difficulty. So, fuck knows where I'm going wrong here. Thank you to the insane top tier level patrons making the series possible in the first place. A big thank you to Odie, Serik three one three, Justin Wallace, Olympia George, Dante Mordecai, Roll Two D One Games, Blue the Bard, Pelvis Presley, Siala, Atmosis, Aromatic Fool, Alex, Harik, Scott, Slippy Nips, Ninja Tree V, Tyler Candle, and everyone else at. The insane tier lovers on Patreon for making the channel possible in the first place. A big thank you to you guys for just being a part of this absolute insanity, I think is the best word for it. A thank you as well goes out to Galaxy Wolf 7, Mythomatic, Blood for the Blood God, Grey, Panthapel, Empty Machine, Emerald Beam, Tentacle Beast, Loves Trees, Caron24, Moira Valkyrie, Jackson P, Jacob Wolfie, Blood Riot, Merrick Threndraug, Luke Jordan, Jack, Black Sheep, Danny, Noobmeister, and Lampy. For their support patreon as well i don't know where to go for this so i will leave it in the hands of you the people to decide where we go next <laughs>